In this video we'll show you how easy it is for you to configure Streamer to provide captioning, note taking and translation services for your teachers, staff and students. First, I'll give you an overview of Streamer. Then I'll show you how to assign rooms to staff and students, how to create user accounts for these individuals and we'll wrap things up with a series of user tips. Let's get started. With your school subscription we created an overall admin account that you will use to manage all the Streamer rooms and accounts in your district. This is a very powerful account. It has access to every room in the district. You can monitor everyone's usage, allocate and take away rooms and usage permissions and you can do this from any location at any time. This is not an account you want to give to teachers or students. Keep it private. You can create duplicate admin accounts such as an admin account that just the staff at the middle school building will use to manage their accounts but keep this main account to yourself as it has full permissions and unlike every other account on your system the permissions from the main admin account can never be revoked. To log into Streamer open a Chrome browser and go to www.streamer.center. Click the login button and enter your account. If you do not have one contact Auditory Sciences using this contact information. After you accept the terms and conditions you will be placed in your school district streamer lobby. This is where you see all your district's rooms along with their names, if they are currently being used and if so by how many people. By default the rooms in use are shown first. A streamer room is where the captioning for a conversation or classroom lecture appears. The teachers and students enter the room using an account you will create for them. When they are in the room everything they say is captioned and displayed. If you need more rooms added to your lobby just let us know. With each new subscription to Streamer we will add an additional room to your lobby. You will notice that each room has a number just like the physical rooms in your school buildings also have numbers something like room 105 and each streamer room also has a label just like the teachers place their name on the door to their school room. The number gives you a way to track rooms and the label tells you who has currently been assigned that specific room. You can assign streamer rooms using any approach you want. However, most schools assign a streamer room to each student that has requested captioning, note taking or translation services. Again, the streamer rooms are typically assigned to a student versus the teacher. To assign a room to a student, you enter that room by clicking on it, then type forward slash topic followed by the name of the person that will be using the room. In this case, let's say it is a student named Jessica Parsons. There, the label has been created. It is shown here and when I go back out to the lobby, the room now has Jessica's name listed. Next, we need to create a user account for Jessica and give her permission to use her room. You could exit Chrome and then create the account, but as a shortcut, I like creating accounts by using a different browser. That way I do not have to keep logging out and logging back into my admin account. So I'll open up a new window using a browser other than Chrome. Go to www.streamer.center, click login, and then the create one option. I'll enter the new account name. It cannot have any spaces, so I'll use first name dot last name for the format. The email is only used if the student forgets their password and it needs to be reset. If you leave the language settings blank, they default to American English. The preferred voice is used for a student that is nonverbal and also if you are planning to have streamer generate spoken translations of your conversations. If you leave it blank, it simply defaults to an adult male voice. And the password needs to be at least eight characters long. There, we've now created the account. Notice that in her lobby she does not have access to her room. We'll do that now. I'll go back to my admin account here in the Chrome browser, jump into the room we've assigned to Jessica, and I will give her permission to use that room by using the allow command. Note that commands always start with the forward slash symbol and user accounts always start with the at symbol. Also notice that there is a space between the command and command parameters. Now that I've allowed Jessica to use the room, you can see it appears in her lobby. There are several other permissions you may want to give a student. 
Set Download and Set Clear sets the ability for the user to download and clear the transcript. The Add Owner command gives the student a complete set of permissions. If they are an owner of the room, they can download and clear transcripts and they can invite others to join them into the room, as well as kick people out. To revoke that permission, use the Remove Owner command. And to see a complete listing of owners, use the Owners command. Make Normal removes the ability for a student to add to the transcripts. They can only view the transcript. Make Super gives that ability back to the student. We've already shown you the Allow command, which gives a student permission to use a room. The Unallow command removes that permission, and the Allowed command shows you the entire list of users that can access the room. The Welcome command sets a welcome message that a student will see each time they log into their room at the start of the day. For a complete set of commands, click on the question mark in the upper right corner of the interface. Or you can print a copy of these commands by using this address. Next, you will want to repeat this process for each teacher that will be using the student's room. So if Jessica has six teachers, then you will repeat this process six times. Let's make an account for one of Jessica's teachers, Ms. Peterson. There. Once you've done it a few times, creating each account and assigning permissions only takes about 30 seconds, so it goes fast. Here are some user tips to make it go faster. You will be using the same set of about 8 commands pretty often. The Allow, Allowed, Add Owner, Owners, Set Download, Set Clear, Topic, and Welcome commands. So it's suggested you create shortcuts for these commands. To do that, click on the Account Settings icon, and then the Phrases tab. This top line is the label that will be displayed in your right side panel. Pick a short label, just a couple of words at most. I tend to use the actual command, such as forward slash allow. The phrase is the actual command that will be entered, so in this case I'll type forward slash allow, then the space, and then the at symbol. I like using the color black for all my commands, because that way the shortcuts are located at the top of my side panel. Now, when I close this tab and go back to my transcript window, you see the new command shortcut. If it was a command without a parameter, I'd just double click it. Since the allow command requires a parameter, I'll single click, enter the user account, and then the enter key. Another nice shortcut for commands that you are repeating is the up arrow on your keyboard. Streamer remembers all the commands you have recently entered in the order in which you've entered them. This is really nice if you are configuring say a dozen rooms and you are repeating a lot of allow and set download commands. And up here is the quick access bar. If you are making changes to a lot of rooms, open them all up at once and you will see them listed here. Enter the first room make the changes, and jump to the next room by clicking on the Tab key. The combination of the Tab key and up arrow makes it easy to quickly edit a large number of rooms. For example, if you are changing the welcome message for every room. And one more. If you want to send a message to every streamer user in your district, use the Broadcast command. Type forward slash broadcast followed by your message. It will be sent to every room and every user in your district. Here are a few more user tips. The side panel on the right shows you who has joined your room. You can share documents with your teachers by dragging and dropping them into the transcript window, 
or to specific users by specifying their user account name before you click the Send button. You can send messages by typing the at symbol into the command bar, followed by their user account name and the message, like this. There, that message will pop up on the person's computer. You can clear the contents of the transcript by typing forward slash clear into the command bar. Per our privacy policy, there is no undo command. So when you clear the transcript, it's gone from everyone's streamer window and it's gone forever. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. To learn more, here's the companion video for teachers to watch. And here's the one for students to watch. And here's a link with much more information on using Streamer in academic settings.